Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is leaving stones and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 5. You also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. I invite us this morning to meditate on the implications of our anchor scripture. Peter, writing in his first letter to believers scattered all over different territories, likens the believer to stones being used to build a house. You also, like living stones, he says, are built into a spiritual house. As I reread this scripture a couple of weeks ago, I began to meditate on, as well as picture what roles stones play in a building. The first thing that struck me is that a stone on its own is useless. A stone only has real meaning and potential in the hand of a builder or an artist or someone who is adept at working with stones. In the case of this scripture, God, the master builder. My dear person listening to me, no matter how intellectually sound or maybe financially comfortable you think you are, you are purposeless and useless outside of God. He is the master builder. He is the one who determines your purpose. The second thing I'd like to share from my many musings on this scripture is the fact that every stone in a building has its place. Different shapes of stones are required for different parts of a building. It is the architect or the engineer or the master builder who dictates which shape fits where. In the same way, my dear listeners, there is a particular place for you in God's building. Knowledge of this should not only drive us to prayer to find and align with our place, but should also eliminate envy, needless offense and competition in the body of Christ. We, though many stones, are all one building put in our rightful places, working together in our unique way to maintain the architectural integrity of the structure God is building. And lastly for today, I want us to imagine for a second the absurdity of a stone refusing to stay in its place. The Bible says we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good good works. When we refuse to seek our place and stay in it or insist on staying in a position where God has not put us, we leave our space vacant and there are consequences for us as well as for others who God has planned to bless through us. Remembers, remember, stones do not build. The builder builds by putting the yielded stones in the places where they should be. Question 1. How conscious are you of your stone status? Question 2. How yielded are you? Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. We acknowledge that we are yours. Please give us grace to align with your plans and your purposes. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, Wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.